This is an emergency appeal from Globals Make Some Noise. Raising money to help those hit hardest by coronavirus in our communities. Supported by HSBC UK. Radio X. Because times like these are tough for everyone right now, but as lockdown eases, we start to get back to some kind of normality. Uh, there's no doubt, uh, and it becomes clearer and clearer that some people have been left behind. For these people, every day was already a struggle, but coronavirus has made their lives unbelievably difficult, and they need our support. That's why we launched an emergency appeal uh, for Global's Make Some Noise, helping vital charities right across the UK. Um, charities like Kids Inspire, which is what we're going to be uh, talking about today. Kids Inspire. They provide therapeutic support to vulnerable children, young people and families who are affected uh, by a range of issues. Right now, uh, we've got a guest. We're joined by 11-year-old Joseph. He's going to tell us uh, how uh, Kids Inspire helps him. Hello, Joseph. Hello, afternoon. How are you? I am very Joseph. You're very... <laughs> Good lad. Okay, Joseph, tell us a little bit. I mean, I know a little bit about it, but you tell us about uh, Kids Inspire. How do they help you? Well, Kids Inspire, the, the charity that have therapists and mentors, and they basically help young children across the UK with um, mental health or sort of home problems and things like that. Okay, and, and how long have you been helped by this charity? I started getting help from them in 2019. Right. Uh, and, in that year, and in that year, how has life improved in that year? What's the difference been between 2019 to 2020 and what happened before uh, they, the, you got involved with Kids Inspire? Well, before Kids Inspire, I was with a, I would say a charity from my local council, yeah. but that that wasn't for long, and I still was having suicidal thoughts or just very bad depression and anxiety. So I got referred to a therapist for Kids Inspire. Yeah. I was with her for nine or eight weeks, and then at the eighth or ninth week. I got referred to my mentor. And how has life changed for you since the start of the pandemic? Since the start of the pandemic, um, it's definitely changed because my mum has multiple sclerosis and she can't get out because she's vulnerable to the virus. Yeah. So me and my brother um, have been taking it in turns for the f mostly for the first load of weeks of lockdown. It was me taking her up to the co-op the nearest shop to me in her wheelchair yeah. on the nicest days or even if it was just a really sort of cloudy day and it wasn't going to rain we'd still take her up there how will the money we're raising help you and others it will help a lot Th this money however much is raised yeah whether it's a thousand two thousand it's still going to help yeah the charities like kids inspire who are always there um to support us us children and, and and when you when you're having your down days, when you're having those down moments, how, how great is it to just have a mentor and someone to talk to like that? Yeah. So um, this Friday, I'm actually going to be meeting up with her for the first time in person. It's right. been video calls and things like that. So it's definitely going to be very exciting to be able to meet yeah. her in person. We're going to be social distancing as yeah. well. Make sure we're keeping the government guidelines. We're not going to breach any yeah. of those. But it's going to be very helpful, especially when I can't go to my mum yeah. for help. I can yeah. always go to her. Right, and that's and that's something that you could you could say kids inspire really really ensures that you're not alone. Yes, that's absolutely brilliant. You know what? We're really lucky to 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 be able to talk to people like you because it, it's so nice to be able to help you. It's so nice to sort of feel we have a use. Uh, but mainly, it's so nice that, that that you've got someone who can help you properly. Yeah, and uh, like in the way that you help others, it's it's uh, it's got me a bit speechless, a bit choked up actually. But there you go. Um, hopefully, we can raise some much needed funds for Kids Inspire and a whole load of other charities we're helping today. Uh, but once again, thank you so much, Joseph, for being such an inspirational figure. And uh, and 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 we'll talk to you very soon. Definitely. You take care. Thank you very much indeed, Joseph. And you you, you carry on. You too. Bye. All right. Stay safe. Bye, Joseph, Bye. ladies and gentlemen. Bye. So, to donate to Globals, make some noise and help small charities across the UK. What a kid, eh, Gav?
Amazing. Unbelievable. There's mum in the background as well. He's better than I am on the radio. <laughs> oh, he's miles better, go. Miles better. I mean, little Simon may as well just stroll off. Yeah, well, he's definitely better. Seriously, there's no, there's no two. Weeks. If he, if I kid, we could teach him to press the buttons here. We could. <laughs> seriously. Wow. Yeah, anyway. he was brilliant. Yeah. Wow. Man.